Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to restring this Milwaukee cordless battery powered weed eater. It is very simple. Okay, so I like to bring it in my shed. First thing I do is I just kind of brush off some of the grass. It makes it easier to work with. You don't wanna get that grass down in there. Okay, so hopefully when you were, when it emptied this string, it just all came out and you don't have anything left. This is the easiest way to restring it, is for all the string to be gone. So we're gonna line up these red marks. Turn it on its side. You can turn this and just line up those red marks right there. You can see both sides of the red marks are lined up. Now we're going to feed our string through there. Okay, so I've got the manual. Milwaukee takes 20 feet of 0.095 line or 25 feet of 0 0.080 line. Okay, so people ask me what's the best. You need 20 feet of this string. What's the best way to get the 20 feet? So your arm span, when you reach your arms out, that's almost sometimes six feet, but it's usually around five feet. So just take the string in one hand and then just go like this. That's five feet. So five, 10, 15, and 20. Give it a cut right now. the red line that comes with it, this is 0 0.080. Okay, so once you have 25 feet of it, you're just gonna take one end of the 25 feet and you're gonna string it through. Once the lines are marked up, you're gonna push this through until it comes out the other side of the same hole. There, see how simple that was? Now pull equal amounts. You want the same length on each side. Okay, I've got equal parts. Now it's ready to wind. So you see these big arrows that say wind? You're gonna hold the base. You gotta hold this base and turn this top. That's gonna wind the string in there. It does a really good job on the inside winding it up. It's going to bring it in on both sides equally. So just turn this cap according to the arrows, which is clockwise, while you're holding this part. You don't want the whole thing to turn, so hold that. Very simple. Turn it in. Okay, so when you get close down to the end, leave a little bit out. That's about the right length there. If you don't want too much, or it'll get all wound up inside here. That's the cutter. So when it goes around, it's going to be cut on that thing. And then there's the right amount. So at this point, you would be ready to go. Put your battery in, go out, bump it a few times, and it should be ready to go to start weed eating. Occasionally, you do have to take this cap off. I have had sometimes where the you want the string to go all out, and then you can just put new string in. But sometimes the string will get bound up in there, and when you're bump feeding it, it's not coming out anymore. So I'm going to show you how to take this apart. It's very simple. There's a tang here and a tang on the other side. Push those in. This cap will pop up. It brings the string, gets wound on this spool inside this cap. So just take it all out. It's very simple just to start all over again. So if you've got string wound up in here, just take it all off. Don't try to refeed it in here because it's so simple to refeed it. Just take all the string off. Even see, you're gonna see it goes through this little thing here. Take it all the way out. Now start with this and just put this back in, okay? Very simple, put it in until it snaps on both sides. And it helps if they're lined up, there. So start with the red marks lined up and then push it on, it will snap on there. Both sides are completely locked. Now just start all over again and line this up until the string comes out on the other side. There you go, and now make sure you got equal parts on each side and then just wind it up. Okay, so I've got the new string in there. So it's a good, good idea before you start weeding, give it a couple bumps. So run it at full speed, put it on the rabbit. Okay, that should have cut it at the proper length. Give it a few bumps. Okay, so our, string, our weeder has new string in it. I hope the video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.